Time now for your forewarn weather with Cedric Haynes. Hey, good Thursday morning, Utah. Let me show you a nice, nice view of the afternoon sky. Yesterday, this was sent in by Don over Sandy, and you can see those fair weather cumulus clouds in the sky but not impacting the weather conditions in terms of any rain. And that meant a lot of heat out there. In fact, record heat once again. Man, we can't shake it, it seems. I think we're going to start to do that. But today, 101 in Spanish Fort. That ties a previous record. 100 degrees in Salt Lake City. That tied a previous record at the airport. And at City uh, Water Creek, their plant, we had tied a record at 97. And here's the big one. Alta, you're looking at it saying 81. Is that a misprint? No, remember, they're way up there in elevation. So 81, that is a high hot day for them, and they broke a new record out there as well. So we've got hazy sunshine going throughout the morning. Temperatures near 90 as we get towards lunchtime, so it's going to heat up fairly quickly out there today. 98 expected in Salt Lake City, 99 in Provo, 96 in Wendover, 93 in Cedar City, and 99 degrees expected in Lake Powell. So it's going to be a hot day out there, a scorcher of a day. We're also going to be tracking some of that smoke and haze coming in from the north. You can see that making its way in from southern portions of Idaho right on down into northern Utah. It's going to come through the Cache Valley again. It's going to make its way right on down near the I-80 corridor this afternoon. So be aware that is going to affect the air quality out there. So if you suffer from respiratory issues, allergies, things like that, hey, we've got code orange from Ogden down through Salt Lake City and Provo, and we've got the moderate air quality uh, surrounding that as well. So this afternoon, the reason we're going to see that smoke and haze coming in is from those northerly winds pushing into northern Utah. And that's going to shut the rain chances down across the north, but it does keep the rain chances going across the south. So the better chance of rain this afternoon will be across the south, slowly drifting southwest towards Cedar City again as we get towards this evening. You saw some decent rainfall yesterday. You may see some more decent rainfall today. And then notice a better chance for central and northern Utah spreads north as we get into Friday afternoon. All right, let's talk about these temperatures because the record highs, I think we're finally done with that as this ridge now starts to flatten. Now it's just a primarily typical hot weather, but as we go towards the weekend, we're still watching this big dip in the jet stream that's going to make its way towards northern Utah and Idaho as we get into our Friday and into the weekend, and that's going to bring in not only some slightly cooler temperatures, but also a more unsettled weather pattern for us. So as we look at your temperature trends, hey, this is what we like to see. Upper 90s here for us today. That's still above average. By the time we get towards the beginning of next week, we're going in the right direction. Look at those temperatures coming down slowly, but sure. Surely, we're making our way back to the low average temperatures. Fingers crossed for that. St. George, slight chance of a pop-up storm again for the rest of the week. Temperatures 104, 103, but we're getting closer to 100 by the time we get towards the beginning of next week. Along the Wasatch Front, hazy sunshine, 98 degrees. Better chance of pop-up storms this weekend. And then look at that, struggling to hit 90 by next Tuesday.